What's up everybody? Got a quick video for you today. I'm gonna to show you how we make these soap holders. We're going 15 degrees on both sides. So all our 15 degree cuts one way, 15 degrees the other way. The side against the fence is gonna stay shallower because the blade's not going all the way down. So you wanna keep the back side of the wood against the back. Just move the angle of your saw. All right, there's our first step. You can see the back side does not get cut all the way through. So we're gonna rip that off now. Back to zero, take our depth stop off. Yes, it's probably safer to do this on the table saw, but I'm already here. If you are ripping a board that this way on the miter saw, I just cut it at an angle too. Anyway, if you're ripping a board on the miter saw, hold it firm, do not move your hand, and just cut nice and slow. There we have it. We can make some relief cuts in the bottom now. Put our depth stop back. Go to your deepest side, make sure it's not gonna cut into your previous cuts. And we're just gonna cut some grooves in the bottom. That's it, there's the bottom. There's the top. Give it a little sand now. And right here, my favorite part, sanding. I'm just using 150 grit sandpaper. These boards were already pretty smooth, so I'm just knocking off any burrs and softening up the edges. Essentially, that's it. These sell pretty easily for 10 to $15, depending on your market and whether you're selling on online or at a craft show. Like I said, you can spray these with lacquer, it takes another 10, 15 minutes, or you could just put some, some kind of a natural oil finish, like a Rubio Monocoat or a Odie's oil, whatever you think would be best. But it's a crap piece of wood, about three by five inches long, and 10 minutes of your time, you made 10, 15 bucks. You can knock these out pretty quick. You can do it and you can make these in five minutes, really. So. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have some other videos coming up of small projects you can work on.